everybody it's Debbie here welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch today I really do appreciate it and if you are a returning subscriber I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's just get into it so this is a little intro today I am making some so I love farmhouse but not as much the crisp white, no color, um, you know, that just a little bit distressed look. Not so much that type of farmhouse, but your real original vintage farmhouse. The type of stuff that I saw in my grandmother's house when I was growing up, in my grandparents' farmhouse. So... I decided to make myself some coasters and a little piece for my bedroom wall. And I decided that I wanted to go with a look that was like vintage wallpaper. So this is what I came up for the coasters. And I'll insert a quick little picture of the plaque here. And then I am just going to show you how I put these little items together. So I think these little coasters are, well, they're not little. These are actually about four and a half by four and a half inches. A nice big coaster size. So you can set a nice big mug on these. My son made me some new tables for my living room out of pallet wood going with the vintage farmhouse theme and I once I get them finished they haven't got a finish on them yet but once I get them finished I don't want to muck them up with my hot coffee cups on them so I wanted some coasters and this is what I decided so I chose to put some um tiny little sentiments on them this one says choose to be happy the most important things in life aren't things be kind to everyone and live the life you love, love the life you live. So those are my coasters and you saw my little plaque for my bedroom wall. And so that is the very beginning of my bedroom wall. I want to do a collage wall of vintage farmhouse themed items for my bedroom wall and of course, I will show you some of the things in the rest of the house as I kind of get stuff put together. So I hope you enjoy this little process share. And uh, yeah, so if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, do that now before you forget. And let's get into the process. So for this first project, I am going to use the four and a half by four and a half inch wood planks from Dollarama. There's six in a pack, but I'm only going to use four and I'm choosing from the Dollarama paper pad called Delilah and I'm choosing this paper. It looks like a wallpaper, like an old vintage wallpaper and I'm going to use the Dollarama Mod Podge and I am going to glue all four of these planks down onto the back side of the paper. This just makes it easier to flip and then cut them apart. So I'm just pressing the edges down really, really good so that they won't come up and let them dry for a bit and then just slice them apart. So I'm using my favorite method to get a nice clean edge and that's just pressing down on the edges with a nice uh, like a good medium grit sandpaper will work really well or you can use one of those sanding blocks this is just from a pack of sandpaper that I got at Dollarama like I said everything in this project absolutely everything is from Dollarama for both these projects today and this is my take on farmhouse I'm loving that there's some color in this um, it looks like the stuff that would have been on my grandmother's bed bedroom walls way back like way back when so um yeah that probably dates me when old flowered wallpaper was in a farmhouse and every farmhouse had it so to me that's vintage farmhouse so I'm just using some this is the um burnt umber 
acrylic paint and I've watered it down and I'm kind of mixing it and brushing it on the edges and across. Make sure you brush it the same direction on all of your pieces so that they um, they go the same way. And just another little final sanding and I am ready to cover these with a coat of Mod Podge again. Now I'm using a matte Mod Podge. I want it to look vintage farmhouse, so I don't want too much shine on this. It's not shiny and new. It's matte and really, really old. So I'm giving all four pieces a really good coat of this Mod Podge and then letting them dry. And this will seal that paper down really, really well. Make sure you get all your edges. If any of your little edges are sticking up, make sure you get them. So once they're dry, I have this sheet of stickers that was also from Dollarama. I've used some of them, and I'm going to use four more of these stickers here. I just loved the little sayings, and they're vinyl stickers, like little vinyl, plastic, whatever they are. So I'm just putting them down, and I didn't trust them to stick, so I'm putting a little bit of Mod Podge down first then I am going to position and the Mod Podge helps the sticker move around on the page a little bit and I am putting the, the sticker on where I want it and then I'm going over top now even though these are plastic the Mod Podge isn't going to go through this and help glue it down but I thought it would help seal the edges still and it takes the shiny away from the plastic it mats it down a little bit which is what I was hoping for so just a layer of Mod Podge over something shiny will help matte it down. Take that, you know, that new shine away. I don't want that shine. So that's what I'm doing for the surface of these four coasters. I just love the little sayings. I love the color. I love the vintage feel of them. Just the whole vintage look, that old farmhouse look. And then I'm going to take this jute twine from Dollarama. This was $1.25 and there's tons of it on here. And I opened this up and they had both ends tucked down. So I ended up with a big tangled mess that I had to try to untangle and then roll up before I could start using. I, I Yeah, it was it was a mess. Absolutely a mess. I don't, I don't show it here, but yeah. So all I'm doing is using my hot glue and I'm going to go around the outside edge with the jute twine and these are going to be done and these are going to look well these do look absolutely awesome down on my coffee table i'm using them i'm loving them they're fabulous just fabulous so this is my first project uh, i'm really pleased with how it turned out let me know in the comments what you think let me know in the comments what you think about this um vintage farmhouse look that i'm doing uh, instead of that white clean crisp you know just a little bit distressed look um yeah vintage farmhouse for the second project i'm just going to make a little wall hanging out of these wood planks using the same paper pad this delilah paper pad from dollarama that i love I, I can't even say how much i love the vintage um, wallpaper feel vibes that these uh, floral sheets give me they're they're just so so pretty and so I'm just going to grab four different ones this time and because I do not want to waste too much I'm going to measure these and then just rough cut this paper about a half an inch larger so that I can still use my sandpaper to take the edges off but I'm not tossing as much paper I don't want to waste a lot so I'm just cutting four slips and then I am going to shorten them a little bit so there we have them so I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to do the wallpaper not the wallpaper see um, I'm going to do the paper and I'm going to mod podge it onto the front of each one of these it's just so simple the I'll, I've got to say the mod podge does sink a lot into these wood planks these wood planks are really dry so they absorb a lot of the glue so you have to make sure you got enough on there in a nice even coat to get the paper to stick but once it's down it's down it's pretty good so 
See how nicely that comes off when you use sandpaper? You get such a crisp, clean edge and a tiny little bit of that wood shows, which is really nice. So I'm going to do that to all four pieces. Once you're done, you can just go around the edges then and make sure you have no little slivers or anything like that sticking out. Now I'm going to use a different method to age this. So I was kind of hoping that this paper would soak in. It's not a really expensive craft paper so that it's got a really matte finish to it. And uh, I'm using a, a a really strong coffee brew. So I've just made some really strong instant coffee, a cup of water with about four or five heaping teaspoons of instant coffee. And I'm brushing it on these until the paper's saturated, leaving a few little puddles, and then I'm going to let these dry. And that'll just age this down and make it make this paper look really old. So it doesn't show as much in the camera. The, the camera's making the paper look bright, but it does have a nice aged look. So I'm just using my Prismacolor uh, permanent marker, one of the ones from the set that I got for Christmas from my husband. And I am going to put my words on these. Now this paper or this uh, ink is permanent so it won't smear when I go to seal it with Mod Podge at the end. And I used a different script or font or whatever you want to call it for each one. I'm just edging with my marker around the edges, making sure to cover the sides as well because they'll show. And then I'm sealing it all with the Mod Podge. Very simple. Like you can do this with any paper that you like. So I have these two garden stakes that I'd already stained and to use them for another project and I didn't use them. And I have this weld bond glue. So I am putting the glue on and I'm gluing these together and I'm going to, there's not much space between them, just a tiny crack. I'm not leaving a big space. I don't want these to look like pallets, but I just want this to look like a really cute little wall hanging for my bedroom. So even that space there was too big. I had to move that one down a bit. So get them all in there, line them up with something straight so that you've got them nice and even. Let them dry for just a minute so that you can flip them over. They're not quite dry yet. I can still move them around a little bit, but that's okay. I'm still working on it. You could let them dry a little bit better before you do this part. And I am going to hot glue a piece of this jute twine that's left over from the other project to the back and use it as a hanger. And that's how simple it is to put this little project together, this little sign. So I'm going to flip it back over and put a weight on it to help it dry. That one board doesn't want to stick and I'm done. That's it, everybody. That's how I put it together. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy my take on Vintage Farmhouse. It is... Um, it's not the typical farmhouse style stuff that's been going around. I do love this look. Like, look at this. I do love this look of really old wallpaper. Now, this literally looks like something that you would see on my grandmother's walls in the bedrooms of their farmhouse when I was a kid. So we're talking in the late 1950s and I do absolutely love that. So like I said at the beginning, if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, go do that. The best thing that you can do to help me build my channel is to share my videos with like-minded people. And until I see you all in the next one everybody please be safe out there take care and stay healthy bye bye for now everybody love you guys